and of course, as I mentioned before, those death threats in the middle of the night, literally saying, I'm going to kill you, Jay Walker. Hello world, I'm back. I am the social media superstar. I am the glitch in the system. And I am Jay Walker. And I cannot overstate the amount of trauma I experienced in my first couple years of professional wrestling. It had actually been blocked out of my brain for years until someone had actually refreshed me on the things I had to go through to get to where I am today. And my harassers are still out there. They're still doing their thing. But thankfully, I've cut them completely out of my life and I don't have to deal with them anymore. You hear these horror stories of what it's like trying to break into the pro wrestling industry generations before, so I knew I needed to have my guard up. I just couldn't possibly anticipate being a small town kid away from the city. I couldn't predict what was going to happen to me, including death threats in the middle of the night. That's right. I mean, I made for an easy target. I, I had nobody with me. I wasn't in any clicks. I was the youngest kid on the roster. I, I was 120 pounds. <laughs> and I really wasn't big into the partying scene like some were. No, my main focus was wrestling. Who'd have thought, right? So I learned very quickly, and you would have to, to adapt to this scenario, that if I were to somehow run into any uh, of this group of professional wrestlers, I would need to have my guard up. And not just at live events, no, I'm talking in everyday life. I had been chased down in parking lots, uh, people were hired to come and assault me at live events. I. Uh, I had been invited to parties where the intention was they were going to single me out, beat me up, and this group was just going to watch and, and enjoy it. And of course, as I mentioned before, those death threats in the middle of the night literally saying, I'm going to f kill you, Jay Walker. Fun, right? Welcome to pro wrestling. This was in like 2007, 2008. It was my first couple of years. Plain fact is this stuff shouldn't have happened. And thankfully, I can proudly say that the local wrestling scene where I'm from isn't so much like this anymore. It's much more inclusive. I've taken all of these things in stride and it's given me the perspective that everyone deserves an opportunity to be introduced to the pro wrestling industry everyone deserves a fair shake everyone deserves to be treated with respect and accepted with open arms everyone deserves that fair shot to do what they love and it's not my responsibility to make the decision for them whether or not they can make it within professional wrestling. That's up to the person, the individual. If you're experiencing things like this in the industry or in life, my best advice is to make sure there are people that you are telling what's going on. Uh, make sure that there are people out there who have your back. And whether or not they defend you, if you have a track record of these occurrences, if you have hearing out these stories, you will have people coming to your defense, coming to your aid, and you'll just have a great support system along the way. I really recommend, don't keep it to yourself. Share that story, share your experiences with others, because then you'll have people you can confide in, you can trust, and that can back you up. Hey, why don't you pick on somebody your own side? And just like my harassers, there's strength in numbers. So the more people you can tell, the bigger support system you have, they'll be there for you and they will care. 
Now as for me, I was lucky that I did find a support system. I'm lucky that I had people that I could trust and confide in that had my back. I'm lucky that I can still call these people friends today because I wasn't gonna let anything get in the way of my dreams. I wanted to live, eat, sleep, and breathe pro wrestling, and I'm able to say that I can do that today happily and healthily. And my detractors, my harassers, they can think what they think, they can think that what they thought was great. Um, and they tried to kick me out of pro wrestling, they tried to demoralize and demean me and scare me away, but the truth is, at the end of the day, now, they respect me. And everyone else's opinions just didn't matter anymore. No, see, I made it my goal to be the first one to arrive at the venue and the last one to leave at every event. And through my grit, determination, hard work, work ethic, and loyalty, I earned every single opportunity that came my way. I worked my way up from the very bottom. I started collecting ring jackets. Then they trusted me to ring the bell. And then I went from referee, to manager, to a pro wrestler, to one of the greatest champions this city has ever seen, and even promoting my own shows. And speaking of promoting, gotta do it guys, I know. But I really recommend picking up one of my pro wrestling tees over at the pro wrestling tees shop. That shirt, along with plenty other designs, exclusively designed by me, are all available on my Pro Wrestling Tees store. Please don't hesitate to go check it out. I will drop the link in the description for you if you are interested. But now, back to the story. So bottom line is, don't go through this alone. It's important to tell people. It's important to create that support system. It's important to have people that you can trust. That way when the time comes, you do have people who have your back, who believe your story, who believe and stand up for you because they know what you are going through. I'm able to laugh about some of this stuff now, but there were some really dark, hard times. Just trying to get a foot in the door, get local Winnipeg wrestling, like as silly as that seems. Uh, luckily, I'm on the better end of it. Uh, I've, I've accomplished so much and I've grown so much as a human being, but not everybody's so lucky. Uh, if you have gone through something like this, or you are going through something like this, feel free to drop in the comments and share your story, and I'll be able to hopefully help you with a little bit of advice from my perspective and, and the things that I've gone through. Uh, but I've overcome it all. Like I said, I've got people who've got my back now, and I've got this amazing support system of fans who, um, from all over the world, not just locally, right? I mean, I've got the network. It's my Patreon with over 40 hours of content that people are subscribed to and they just they're cheering me on and willing me on to make it to bigger and better things in this pro wrestling industry. It's wild. That's it for now though. Thanks for sticking it out to the end. I really appreciate you checking out this video. Give it a like too so that it raises awareness and gives people a place to come and find if they are going through the same struggles. But until next time guys, again, I'll say it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Vlogging off. Got a favor to ask. If you want to hear more stories like this one, go ahead, click that subscribe button. I didn't hear no bell. Oh my god!